What is the darkest place you've ever experienced? For some of you, what comes to mind is a place, a location, maybe a closet where you used to hide while playing hide and go seek when you were a little child. Or maybe a cave that you got to visit with your family and you got to experience what is called total darkness. But for some of you, maybe it's a season in life. Maybe it's a period of time where things just didn't go your way. Maybe relationships were broken during that time. Maybe the job didn't pan out the way you thought it would. Darkness, by definition, is the absence of light. You can't try to break darkness with money. You can't try to break darkness with position in life or respect. You can't try to break darkness with a loud sound. It just won't break. The only thing that will break darkness is light. Glow sticks. This is a toy that just never gets old. If you've been in camps before and youth ministries, you know you're gonna use them at some point. And I love how this liquid that is inside this container here, what I like to do is I like to get tons of them and just break them all and let that light shine through. And it reminds me of a moment that Paul has in Acts chapter 26, where he's trying to convey to this king and to this people who were listening what God has done for him and what God had done for them as well. And in this chapter, in this group of verses, verse 22 to 23, it says, but God has helped me to this very day. So I stand here and testify to small and great alike. I'm saying nothing beyond what the prophets and Moses said would happen. Jesus, the Messiah would suffer. And as the first to rise from the dead would bring the message of light to his own people. Jesus' body was broken, but light did not disappear. We know that in the third day, Jesus resurrected, and with that resurrection came forth light, a light that we now call our own, so that no matter what darkness comes into our lives, we know that we have the source that can break that darkness. So today, call that light your own.